Hey guys, welcome to Chase After the Right Price. I'm Chase. I'm Thane. And we are thrifting today. In Fort Wayne. Yes. Here we go again. So excited. So it's been a long time since we've been to Fort Wayne, Indiana. The state of Indiana has actually been open for a while, like retailers, yeah. half capacity or something. Um, we still got masks. We've got hand sanitizer, everything. We're going to be safe about it. But we're very excited because Michigan's been shut down for a good while. We haven't gone to pawn shops, anything, yeah. in three months. At least, probably. Yeah, it's so been a while. It's been a long time. We've done some local deals and stuff, but I got a good feeling about today. Today's going to be a good one. I'm ready to spend it. some money Let's to get some it. deals. Thane's in the building. You know it's good when Thane's Here in the house. Go. I'm wearing my games, games, game shirt. Chase had the right price. Sometimes people ask if we have shirts. We do. And this one, it's, one of the it's better scientifically ones. and medically proven that if you wear it, you'll get more games. Games, games, games. At least 50% more. At least. That's been proven. Link in the description. Shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> Buy our stuff. But um, let's go thrifting. Let's do it. Here we go. So nothing at Walmart, but they do have restrooms. <laughs> so that's good. And it's then we're going to head to Cash America, Pawn Shop, and Half Price Books. So, I kept your Walmart it's going to get good. So What's up, guys? We are at Cash America, first one of the day. Hoping that, the op that they're open. We're the only ones in the parking lot, so I guess we'll see. Yep. Cash America opens in 20 minutes, but this place looks open. Indian Loan Company. <laughs> Limited su success here, but we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. They might have some 3DSs or something. Yeah, take it easy. Success. Got a few games for 40 bucks. We'll show you guys when we get to the car and when it's easier to hear. But it was worth it, and Cash America is now open. Take off my Bane mask. Okay, so that pawn shop was pretty picked over. They didn't have a single system. So it feels like the pickings might be slim today, but hey, you just gotta expand your knowledge and learn the, your sports games because those are what can remain a lot of the time. So I, I got two bucks off of every single game. That seemed to be his magic number that he wouldn't go anymore on. Tomodachi Life for eight bucks, good deal. WrestleMania 2000 for six bucks. I'm pretty sure that's going for around 30 right now. So that's a great score. Pilot wins 64 for eight. That might be going for about 15 after fees right now. NBA Jam 2000 for five. That's going for about 20. And that's always like a fairly uncommon uh, sports game on the 64. King's Quest, I don't even know, but it's sealed and I got it for eight bucks. So hopefully it's worth more than eight bucks. And then Madden 13, the last Madden on Wii U, got it for three and it's complete. So 40 bucks all in there. And now we're gonna go to Cash America.
that's all we got for six bucks. But we still got something. So, we didn't really see it coming that the stores would be completely picked. Ghost town. Like electronics are gone, TVs, computers, video game systems. It's insane. It's crazy. So in in Michigan, we haven't had shops open for two, three months. Yep. And Indiana's been open for a while. And people are apparently flooding pawn shops. Yes. To buy stuff. To buy stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, it it's kind of makes sense because that stuff's selling well online, so yep. it would sell local. But the thing that we do every time we come to a new town to kind of leverage potential success is hitting up Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. Going crazy with Marketplace, trying to set up deals, Craigslist, let go, and just saying, hey, we're in town today. Yep. Can you meet me now? I've got cash in hand. And do we have any deals set up? So I've been, been driving. So he's been driving. So I've been, I've been kind of looking on Facebook Marketplace. So it's about a two hour drive, hour and a half drive to get down here. Mm -hmm. So we're navigating some things and came across a couple listings. So one of the things that Chase has been doing is we have this new series called Will It Trade. The link for that's going to be Will in the trade. description. Um, and we're actually going to have a new episode of that coming soon uh, because one of the deals that we found <laughs> is we brought with us a few uh, a few of these guys. And Which we, are readily available everywhere. For at those every that store, you, like, people can buy them. Online. It's just people don't want to go to stores. In some bigger cities, there's limited availability. And people don't want to use cash. They want to trade old games. They want to trade. In this case. So what we worked out is we had a guy that messaged us and said, hey, I want one of those. And he gave us a big, long list of games. A lot of GameCube. GameCube. Uh, a lot of GameCube <laughs> games. Some Wave Birds. Uh -huh. um, and a right at the end of the negotiation, he threw in a black Nintendo Wii. Which you guys know, Wiis are spiked right now. And that deal is going to be a, in a Will It Trade episode coming out on Monday. Yep. So he's on his way right now. Right he now. was an hour from Fort Wayne, and we're meeting him here at Half Price Books. Um, so stay tuned for that one. But we've also been hitting up um, things that are for sale yep. and trying to work out a 2DS XL, maybe yeah. a PS3. Yep. Um, they're just in the works right now. Who knows if they'll go down. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, that's just a little tip if you're going thrifting somewhere out of town, you know, and especially if you got a buddy who can make deals while you're driving. Yep. <laughs> Shout out to Thane, making the deals happen. Facebook Marketplace is our friend. Yeah. So. So, Search it. Yeah, and let's go check out Half Price Books right now. Here we go. Okay, so we're finding some stuff here. It doesn't appear to be as picked over. We got three Xbox 360s at 40, which is good right now. They're going for maybe about 100 bucks. And then original Xbox for 30, probably going for 60 to 80. So Genesis we'll, down there. I don't know if that's any good. I'll probably pass on the Genesis. But oh, yeah. I think I might get this. But strangely enough, Scooby Doo games seem to be <laughs> spiking a little bit. And then Thane's got Mario Kart 8 for 15. It's definitely spiked right now. Yep, and they're it, is, both complete, it is complete. So that's another factor in the purchase decision. But yeah, pretty good stuff. So Thane didn't want to carry everything, but I made him. So. Slave driver, guys! <laughs> Slave driver. <laughs> We thought it'd make a good clip, let's be honest. <laughs> we got some stuff, guys. We got a lot of stuff. Half price books. Oh, there is a uh, hitch there. <laughs> oh. How's your knee? <laughs> Tender like chicken. All right. So, got a couple. Uh, these are all four giggers, so nothing, nothing crazy. Yeah. But four gigger systems. 40 Xbox, bucks each. Xbox OG for 30. Yep. These for 10, these are selling for 40 online. Mona Lisa for puzzles. Three selling for 18. 18, yeah, it'll be like 10 bucks after yep. fees. And then all the controllers and cables. And it has two, hold up. Two, are they both Microsoft? Yep. Yes, they are. Let's check the other bags. Oh, we didn't really know. We couldn't keypad. see a little keypad bonus. And it's Microsoft. How about the others? See, we didn't really get to see these until we were checking out. Yep. That looks like Microsoft and plug, and plug and play. play. Let's see. Yep, that's a I plug think and it play. is. I think it's Microsoft. Yeah, so that's actually really nice. And then that looks kind of full. Just yeah. one two two, two controllers. Two. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Bonus city. Love it. Fantastic. This place just keeps getting better. Oh, yeah. And then we got some games here. Let's take a look at what we got. 
Oh yeah. Tony Hawk. Good time for Tony Hawk right now with the remaster. That remake coming out, I am going to buy that immediately. Me too. Uh, Pro Skater 4. Those were what? Uh, four bucks and five bucks. Four and five. Both yep. complete. Ten dollars for Deathly Hollows. Everything's complete, I think. Yep. Mario K8. So that's not like a steal of a deal, but right now the price is good. Yeah, that's a good um, bundler too. Yeah, good bundler for systems. Scooby-Doo, like Chase said, surprising value there. Yep. Uh, Mafia 2 for four bucks. And then never even heard of this one. Dot Hack. Dot Hack. Yep, it's a, kind of an anime type of game. And it's complete, 15. I didn't even check all the discs, so make sure all the discs are in there. Yeah, let's do that. Um, but I think it was like 270 bucks all in. And it should be a pretty easy double up, maybe a little more. And they had a good amount of stuff, so that was nice to see. And while we were at Half Price Books, the epic trade happened, which you guys are going to have to tune in for. On Monday. That crate kind of hiding up there. Trust me, one of the best trades that we've ever made. Okay, so we went to the storage unit shops. Yep. Number one, didn't get anything. Number two, sitting right here, they don't like us to record inside the store, so we respect that. But I got something pretty cool. LeBron James. It is the, it's like the upper deck. Um, I remember this set as a kid. It was 20 bucks in the store. I didn't get this one. I went with the other upper deck set. Was that Mellow? No, still LeBron, but oh, okay. um, just honestly not as cool as this one. So I don't know why I got the other one. Yeah. But it was marked 60 bucks, which normally is crazy, but cars are just crazy spiked right now. And I don't think it's spiked. Like, they're, I think, they're I think it's a growing industry. It's yeah. been growing and... It's crazy, but cards are like coming back. And this set's going for 80 to 100 bucks in like new condition, which this is. I open it up, everything's there. Cards are untouched. It's a good shape. So I'll just show you the top, the top two long cards there. There you go. And then all the cards are underneath those, but I'm gonna leave it like that to keep it in minty fresh condition. I think I might put this in the collection because I love LeBron. He's the man. The goat. And, <laughs> um, I also got this thrown in for 45 because it was a tough negotiation. I was hoping this would be some rare little $30 thing. It's nothing. It's worthless, but still money to be made on the set if I sold it, and it's a cool collection piece for now. It'll be fun. It's almost lunchtime. Yeah, we're going to get, get some, some grub. magical Mountain Dew and get some grub. And then Disc Traders opens up here in a couple minutes. Yep. So we'll go stop by there. We got some trade in today and see what we can find. Yeah. They're, they're opening later than normal, so we'll see if we can drop off trade in or not t time wise. But yeah, hopefully we'll get some stuff there too. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's go to Mega Replay. So this is what is getting trade in cartridges that just aren't worth selling individually. Um, even a Wheel of Fortune in the box. <laughs> A lot of just stuff with a lot of wear. You know, some of these might have been five dollar games, but great game. It's a pretty good box to trade in, honestly. A little bit better than normal. So they'll probably take most of it, and hopefully, we'll get a good bit of trade in to use for other games. LeBron James. <laughs> also, uh, I don't know if anyone caught it, but you remember the Sly Cooper video game trivia that I quizzed you on? Yes. And I was like, nice job. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we were both wrong. Thieves in Time is number four. <laughs> number three is Honor Amongst Thieves. So we're not perfect, ladies and gentlemen. We make mistakes. Close. Everybody has those days. So we're looking at some games, guys, and uh, I don't know if we've ever mentioned it on the channel or not, but uh. NHL Hits 2003, 
Great. Is a, uh, I can't see it at all because, you know, sunlight. There it is. <laughs> That's making it worse. <laughs> it's a great game. And it's complete. And it's only $42. So. No. $9.99. Cool. Even better. <laughs> so. NHL Hits Pro. A sad sequel. Yeah, it's not as good. Although that man is a legend. And so is that guy. And that guy. That guy's a legend too. <laughs> Okay, so we got 192 in store credit. I gave a buck or two a game, which is great for me. Happy about that. And yeah, I'm gonna use all of it. I'm finding a lot of games, gonna get some systems, and I have 20% off. Life is good. So I'm home with all of the Disc Traders items. It was a great trip. So I got $200 in trade-in for the one box of, you know, cartridges and games that I can't sell individually for more than like five bucks. So I just trade them in, got an average of one to $2 per item. And then plus the trade-in bonus. So 200 bucks trade-in credit. I also had 20% off, which you can save up to 50 bucks. So I saved 50 bucks and then got these items over here for free because they have a buy five get the sixth free so almost everything I got was complete I definitely like being able to sell things in very good condition on Amazon so we got Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 for the Wii for 30 go vacation for 8 dirt showdown that one's missing the manual but that was $12 Sphinx on the GameCube for eight bucks. Michael Jackson on Connect for three. Rapala for Connect for three. NHL Hits 2003 for ten. Just Dance Kids 2 for four. Blitz the League, twelve bucks. Metal Gear Solid HD Collection for twelve. Tie three on PS2 for fifteen. Need, Need for Speed Underground, that one was ten. Dog's Life, look out for that one, ten bucks. Star Wars KOTOR 2 for 15 Spongebob Battle for a Bikini Bottom, pretty spiked right now and always a good one for 15 And then they had a really nice selection of DS games. Um, must, must be it, someone traded in a super clean, complete collection because there's a lot of nice titles that were complete. They priced the same complete as they do for cartridge only, so I love that. How to Train Your Dragon for 8 Naruto Ninja Destiny 2 for 8 Frogger Helmet Chaos for 9. Lego Batman for 8. Dragon Quest Monsters Joker for 8. Animal Crossing New Leaf. Obviously a good time for that one at 15. Dragon Ball Origins for 17. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Spirit Caller not complete for 12. Uh, Eco Creatures for 3. That's a great deal. Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour for 12. Star Wars Lethal Alliance for uh, 4? Yeah, three ninety nine. Yu-Gi-Oh! World, uh, I believe that's uh, Championships 2008 for 10. Cooking Mama for 8. Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Om Omya for 17. Nintendogs, crazy to pay 12 bucks for that, but I think I'll still profit. Final Fantasy 3 for 17, and then Professor Layton and the Curious Village for 8. Also got this, complete in box GBA Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Probably gonna put that in the collection, and that's a sweet score for 30 bucks. Uh, great, great condition, and you know I did save like 10% off that price. Xbox 364 gigabyte in the box for 60 bucks. So that's just a pretty easy thing that I can quickly sell on Amazon. Wii Classic controller in the box, uh, Pro Classic for 15. Then I got four of these PS3 Move controllers without the, you know, little thing on the top. They're a lot cheaper normally, but right now they're good, and they were two bucks a piece. So that's a no-brainer. They're going for about twenty bucks each right now. Game Boy Color for twenty-five, awesome. The 360 wireless wheel for ten, another great deal. Xbox DVD remote for four. 
and then everything over here was free. So I got three of these GameCube controllers that one person traded in, and they are super clean, Nintendo brand. So that really caught my eye, and this one was free. 20 bucks is what they were marked at. Here's the other controllers, the Xbox Blue, and then the other two GameCube ones. Super clean, so I had to pay for those ones. But all this other stuff is free. Madden 08, the last Madden on GameCube. Free 99. Atrian Odyssey 2, complete. That is an amazing deal at 12, but I got it for free. I think it's probably like a $50 game, because it is minty fresh. Connect Adventures, sealed. Would have been a dollar. Why not? The Bigs 2, free 99. War of the Monsters, a $15 savings. And then the 360 wireless adapter, also a $15 savings. So, yeah, an amazing trip to Fort Wayne and to Disc Traders, and I'm definitely happy with it. They hooked it up, as always, and I'll probably be going back soon. Thank you guys for watching Chase Out to the Right Price. I truly appreciate it. It's a lot of fun making these videos, and I love that you guys come along for the ride. Hopefully, you learned something and got some value out of it. If you did, if you could take a second and go ahead and hit that like button right below, that really helps the channel. It helps in YouTube metrics and helps people like you to see these videos. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell. Go ahead and do that. Then you can join us and get notified every time a video comes out. And we'd love to have you along for the ride. So we'll see you next time. Stay tuned.